Okay, so in section 3.2, in the previous section, we looked at how to construct a free body diagram, which is the single most important step in problems with dealing with statics or dynamics. You have to get the free body diagram correct. Okay, and if um, if this object is to be in equilibrium, it has to satisfy these three equations. Sum of the forces in the x equals zero, y equals zero, and the sum of the moments equals zero. Okay, I think we've seen this already. If I, any of these are not zero, then we have we don't have equilibrium. We don't have uh, equilibrium, either static equilibrium or any kind of equilibrium. Okay. We have a dynamic system, right, which is covered in more advanced courses, okay, from Newton's second law of motion. Now, these three equations are independent requirements, okay, which means that you could have this one be true, that could be zero, but these might not be zero. Or some of, or the the resultant force in the y direction might not be zero, but these might be zero. So these are independent of each other, and so one may hold without the other, which means that it's not in equilibrium. Okay, so you can't tell me that because this one is zero and that one's zero, that it's in equilibrium. All three need to be satisfied, right? If we're considering all those three. Okay, now let's look at categories of equilibrium. Categories of equilibrium. These are just different ways that a system can be in equilibrium. And we can category one, two, three, and there's a fourth one which we'll just look at in a diagram. On diagrams, the best. Okay, so the fourth system, we could have a category. A system where the forces are collinear, right? They're all lined up, right, along one line of action. And so, if this system is to be in equilibrium, all we need to do is analyze it according to this equation. Some of the forces in the x direction. We, we set up our x axis along that line of action. And all we need to do is satisfy this to see if it's in equilibrium. Right? There's no forces in, that, in the vertical or the y direction, and there are no moments. So we don't need some of the forces in the y is zero, and some of the forces, some of the moments equal zero. Okay? Another category is the forces are concurrent at a point. They all pass through a single point. So in this case, you can see that there will be no rotational effect, because they all pass through the same point. So all we need to do to determine the equilibrium of the body is use these two equations. These two equations need to be satisfied. Okay, parallel force system. As you can see in this case, there's no um, forces that are perpendicular to these. So all we need is some of the forces in this direction equal to zero. And we also need to satisfy some of the moments about the z-axis equal to zero. And then this is the most general case, um, which we spoke about earlier, is if you've got forces and moments, then for equilibrium, all three of these need to be satisfied. So does that make sense, guys? In order to satisfy equilibrium, we have different categories. Uh, and if we understand what category we're working with, we only need to apply certain equilibrium equations. Okay. Okay, that's good for now.